sorry guys, we were watching the, the Tiger Woods. Uh, you know, really, like we, we were watching film and then I thought it was more important. And I'm being honest to watch that last hole. Did you guys agree with that? That was awesome. All right, now ask me some questions. So that means you want them to learn that even anything can happen in sports like in this series? Yeah, he was a little, he's pretty good to begin with. <laughs> so, um, no, I just think stuff like that is rare. And, and if you can see it, you should see it. So, uh, more importantly, I'm being selfish. <laughs> I wanted to see it. Uh, so that's it. Tear up when you saw the video of him hugging his son and then Yeah, that's cool. Him. Whenever you see that, that that's, that's really cool stuff. So, uh, sports is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, you know, when people say it's just a game, and then you see that, and you get emotional watching that, and you realize, well, it may be a little bit more than a game. So, pretty cool. Did you watch for guys? Did you guys all watch We just had it on in the old room. So, they're all happy. Some didn't even know what a, a, you know, golf was. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't think we played very well offensively. You know, um, we tend to make too big of a deal about defense at times, and I'm, I'm probably the, the guilty party there. But watching the game, I thought we were far worse offensively. I, I just didn't think we had a very good offensive game. And against Golden State, you, you actually have to have a great offensive game. You're not going to – you think you're just going to stop them and not score and beat them, that's not going to happen. Um, so it was a lot of things, but that was one of them. Are they taking you out of it? Yeah, give them credit. I thought they did a good job. I mean, you know, you can read their comments. They made a concerted effort. They did the last game uh, to slow Landry down, and that's fine. And if they're doing that, we should score in other ways. I just didn't think we were very aggressive. I thought Lou really was the only aggressive party in, in the game yesterday. Trez played well as well. Uh, other than that, it's not if you play well or not, it's if you're aggressive or not. And I didn't think we were, we were aggressive at all. You played well. I mean, he played pretty well, though, didn't he? I mean, yeah, he played uh, offensively. He yeah, played okay. great. Yeah, I thought uh, defensively we, we showed he could do some things. But offensively, he was fantastic. I think he's a matchup we can go to in the series for sure. Back, you've had some great benches over your career. Yeah. Have you ever had one as good as this? No, this is the best bench. Okay. Easy. Yeah, I mean, you got two six men of the year candidates that probably will end up one and two in the vote. Uh, that's a pretty solid bench. And I think the guys around them, I think adding Jamaica and Garrett and all those guys and Wilson, you know, we had a great bench before the trade, and, and they're, they're even better now. So uh, that tips how good our bench is. Is it important for Utah? You guys have relied on them all season long. Is that yeah. going to change in this series? No, we're not going to change. Thing? Yeah, we're, we're, our bench is going to be good in this series. That said, did you feel like you needed to get more from like, out of the side of Gallo with the starters? Not I just said we need to get more out of everybody. Uh, offense. I just didn't like how we played. We didn't play right. You know, we're, we're better than that. Um, give them credit. You know, they did some things that were good, but we're bad. We're way better than that offense. And if we, and if we're not, we're not going to win the series. So before the game, you talked about the critical element of focus. It yeah. Doesn't show up in the box score. Yeah. How do you coach to that? that yeah. Well, by showing them, uh, we made a lot of mental errors yesterday, and that that. I guess a lot of that is focus, a lot of that is first game, a lot of that is them. You know, they've been, they've, they've seen every trick in the book. Um, but we made mistakes that you just can't make against them. Uh, we made like 10 critical mistakes of Curry in particular. And one of the things we said before the game, in all the last two days, make a mistake of someone else. Please, no mistakes on Curry. Uh, and, and we kept doing it, and he kept taking advantage of it. I give him credit, like he's so smart. Uh, he took advantage. It, it felt like every time we made a mistake, Curry took advantage of it. Uh, that just tells you how good they are and how good he is. I'm you say make a mistake on Curry. Yeah, he also shot like 75 percent. Yeah, well, but some of those are open. You know, they just can't be. I mean, he came out just bare naked open on five or six pick and roll plays and pin downs. It can never happen. That like that literally can never happen. And and it did. And that's on us. After the game, Draymond talked about how, you know, for guys who haven't experienced the playoffs, who haven't really experienced a team scheming against them, you know, for guys like Landry, uh, Shea, Zoo, is that an adjustment for them in that sense? Yeah, I don't think they're scheming against uh, Shea yet or, or Zoo, but they absolutely schemed against Landry. Um, but I think Landry is used to that, honestly. Like, um, he's a guy, like, you know, they even mentioned the J.J. Reddick reference. Um, 
you know, with us. And he, he's, he's like that. And so guys like that, you have to scheme against. And so Landry's used to that. Uh, the other two guys probably have never had that done and, and really wasn't done that much in this series yet. Uh, hopefully by game three, they are scheming against Shea or, or, Shep, or one of the other guys. That means they had a good game in game two. Now, how do turnovers affect what you're trying to do? When, you're turning, mm -hmm. when you have turning the ball over, how does that affect Well, you can't beat them. Uh, you know, you can't beat them turning the ball over. And, and what, what, to tell you how bad our offense was, they turned it over. And we didn't take advantage of it. Like, but when we turned it over, they took advantage of it. And to me, that may have been the difference in the game. Looking back on last night with the emotions, kind of how crazy it got out there, is yeah. it, in going into game two, did you talk to them about kind of controlling it, or is that playoff basketball? That's playoff you know? basketball. I didn't think it was that emotional. I thought there was emotional stretches, <laughs> you know? I thought the end of the second quarter, and the Pat and Durant thing I liked. I, you know, it's funny, neither one of those guys were trying to fight or anything like that. Um, and I, it looked like both of them were actually enjoying it, having fun. You know, we just, we. We overreact to it so much now that we got to stop it. Like, neither one, were, like, literally, they actually respect each other. They like each other, but they're going to compete against each other. And they wanted to tell each other about it. Um, that's why I thought it was, we, we made too much of it, you know. Um, you do have to do what you did. Like, I thought Eddie throwing him out was probably the right thing to do. I wish D didn't have to, but I get where, where he was coming from. And, and so I understand that. So, um but it should be emotional. It should be fun. It should be emotional. And it should be hard. Last night you touched on uh, just the struggles you guys had uh, in transition. Did you figure out what, what was behind that? Was that more of them? Was that you guys? It has to be both. I mean, we threw the ball all over the place. I mean, we, we hit guys in the back of the head. We hit guys in the arms, our own guys. You know, um, we had four on ones, three on twos, uh, three on ones that we kept coming up empty. That, that it just can't happen. And, and so we have to get better at that. Well, I think, listen, I think we, we, we speak finally of them, you know, like this, this, we respect the heck out of them. Uh, we just want to beat them. And they respect Patton, some of our guys, and they want to beat us. And there's nothing wrong with getting emotional and getting into that. Uh, but there's no, like, hatred or anything. Uh, we hate losing, and they hate losing, you know, and so there's, that's where the emotion comes in at. But, I don't think there's anything that like the officials have to go into game two. We gotta watch these guys. I don't think it's in that situation at all. And I hope they don't make it into that situation, you know. Uh, because then the game is called tight and, and we're watching free throws. And no one wants to watch that. I, I don't mind that, but I don't want to appreciate that. So last time you were here we were talking earlier. Yeah, it was an awful day. Yeah, do you, yeah. Do you think about oh, that yeah, when you go yeah. there? I, I, and honestly we to, you know, I don't know if I'm superstitious or not, but we've had five other opportunities to come here, and I've, I've refused it. This, the, I just don't like it. So today we had no choice. We had either here or driving out to the arena. And so we, we, we took it. So we're exercising the demon today, you know, is what we're doing. So, yeah, I was in that corner. And, you know, when you see uh, Matt Lauer asking you questions, I'm thinking this is not about basketball today. That was when the uh, my the last, the last time you got here. Yeah, the yeah, that was that was when I was naive enough to think it was a sports story. And then when we pulled up, we saw 100 news trucks. Uh, I remember sitting on the bus and uh, thinking, "Oh my goodness, I gotta get my act together." Because I really didn't think it was. I knew how awful it was, but I didn't think it was gonna become national. I was way too naive. And then when I saw the trucks, that's when it hit home that we're, we're in a hellstorm and we have to try to get out of it. So. Somehow you do. Welcome, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sir.